This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at Royal Albert Hall for today's press conference. I'm joined by James Branch. How you doing, mate? How we going, Umar? All right? All good? All good? Yeah, I'm all good, thank you. Been a while since I caught up with you. How was sort of your Christmas, New Year? Yeah, nice Christmas. Good good New Year and that. All good. A little rest and that. Obviously, I boxed December the 15th, didn't I? And um, had a little rest. And now we're now we're back on. Looking for March the 8th now, the next, the next show. The next show's harm. Looking back at 2018, how do you sort of reflect upon it? Yeah, it was good. It was my first year as a professional. I always said my first year in all the interviews, even before I had my first fight, that my first year is going to be like one of them a year. Just, 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 uh, just getting to know the pro game, just getting the pro ranks, just the, the the actual actual sport. It's very different to the amateurs. Just turning up and fight. There's other there's other bits going on in that. You know what I mean? Obviously, with ticket, every, tickets, everything you're learning it. Yeah, that's that's all gone good so far. Three fights, three three good performances, three wins in that. And now, and now we'll start um, start marching on in 2019, you know? Obviously, last time I interviewed, I asked you about potentially ever moving down to light heavyweight, but you, you're, you're happy at Cruiserweight, yeah? I'm happy at Cruiserweight. I'm, I'm a Cruiserweight. I've, I've just, funny you say that, I've just brought a nutritionist on board and, uh, and uh, I can confirm that I can't make, cru uh, can't make light heavyweight. <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, it's not, it's, I'm, not, I'm not interested in going I was never interested in going down anyway. I'm not, I'm like... Um, I'm a cruiserweight, I boxed all the amateurs as a cruiserweight, I won everything as a cruiserweight, all around the world, I beat some of the world's best fighters at cruiserweight, you know what I mean, I'm a cruiserweight. At the end of the day, what people need to realise, it's not a strongman competition, it ain't a body, ain't, ain't a best body competition, you know what I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a boxing match. And um, as my dad always says, the pen's right in the sword, you know what I mean, I've got a good boxing brain now, and if you can't, if you can't be hit, you can't be beat, no matter what you look like, and, and that's the concept that I take into the ring with me and it ain't done me too bad. Now forgive me for asking, you weren't on the top table at the press conference today, you are on this bill? On the undercard, yeah I'm on the undercard, there's a few of the other boys and that there were on the undercard, it's just, that's all the, uh, all the, all the big, all the, uh, all the big main fights. Uh, One day, Jeff. One day, that's, that's the aim, to get on the top table. Yeah, so boxing at Royal Albert Hall, how does that feel? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be amazing, really. I can't, I can't wait to box there. Obviously, it's such a historic venue. They took a boxing away from it for a long time, obviously, but now it's back there and being on one of the first shows back at the Royal Albert Hall is an, is an amazing thing, you know. And I'm gonna go there, and I can't wait. Even I've just walked out there, you can see all that everyone knows that my crowd makes some noise and all and they can just see that that the, the way it's shaped the, the circle you can see there's going the atmosphere is going to be unbelievable there and i can't wait to go in there and put on a big performance you know and light this place up obviously you're promoting frank warren's thriving you know the likes of tyson fury josh warrant and billy joe saunders got this deal with bt and obviously top ranked espn espn in america so you must be sort of buzzing to be part of this Team with Frank. Buzzing. I'm buzzing to be part of it. So he's, Frank's got Frank's got a very Frank's got a very good uh, stable of fighters. You know, especially if you look at like the young, uh, a lot of the young fighters coming through as well. You know, like, uh, the ones that in the next few years are really going to take over boxing. You know, at, at all different weights. Frank's got some very good fighters. I'm I'm buzzing to be a part of this stable and and I, and and I want to be one. I want to be one of the um one of them leading the way in a stable. You know, eventually. I want to just quickly ask you about Lawrence O'Coley, obviously the British champion. He's fighting this Saturday. Actually, we don't know what's going on with the opponent. He talks of him potentially fighting Dennis Lebedev. Do you know much about Dennis Lebedev? Dennis Lebedev, I think he's the WBA world champion. Yeah, if I'm correct. Yeah, he's a, um, I think it would be a good fight for Lawrence, actually. Obviously, I think, I think probably Lawrence will probably beat him. You know, I think that'd be a good way to get step Lawrence onto the world scene. But obviously, I don't know what's going on with Lawrence. I don't, I don't, I don't see Lawrence and that. So... Uh, who knows? Uh, who knows um, what Lawrence is going to do? But that's, that, you know, for Lawrence, yeah, it'd be, a, it'd be a good opportunity for him. A good, I think he can beat that Lebedev. I ain't seen too much of him fighting and that, but I think in the cruiserweight division, when you look at the world champions such as Usyk and that, you know, you know, who you'd rather fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> How do you sort of assess it domestically, though, with the likes of Isaac Chamberlain, Wadi Camacho, yourself? So many others as well that I haven't mentioned. It's very good. It's, it's a, the, domestically is a very very good. Um, Cruiserweight is a very good division now, especially I think Torres Lawrence has done well. He's he's sort of brought he's sort of started he sort of started this domestic role going in and and they, and lit the flame really for the excitement in the uh, in the cruiserweight division. And Lawrence has done good, and there's a lot of other fighters there. But obviously, as I say, coming through, I know and I believe I I am the best. You look into my amateur background, a lot of these people that are champions. 
that are going on and doing things in the cruiserweight division, I've already beaten them, you know, and, and, and I know now, and, and I beat them at 17, 18, 19 years old. I'm 23, going on to 24, 25, when I'm 26, you know what I mean? As we're, as we're pushing on, I'm getting bigger, I'm getting stronger. These were already full grown men when I boxed them, and now, now I'm getting my bit of man strength on. So, so when I get to as the two men fighting, you know what I mean? I'm, gonna, I'm sure I'm going to win more convincingly. James Branch, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV.